Craig Smith is live at Udall Park with a demonstration. Uh, he's going to show us that. Well, you know, if things were a little more moderate out here, we would probably see more people exercising, perhaps more people out walking their pets. But just get a look of how extreme the temperatures can be. Look at what's going on in our car right now. It is pushing 120 degrees. And another thing people don't appreciate, they get complacent about the heat around here, is just how hot that pavement can be, especially on the bare feet of your animal. We have a way to show you with this thermometer that reads the reflected heat. And look at the readings we're getting right there. And we We've seen higher readings than that throughout the day, and you'll see another demonstration of this in just a couple of minutes. But you really do have to be mindful of just how strong an effect the heat can have on you and particularly your pets. So have a look at that now. Come on, Sadie. Gary Newsom now loves running with his friend Sadie and says she loves running with him, but he's careful to make sure she has plenty of water. Every 10, 15 minutes, I make sure I'm near a water fountain. And I fill it full of water and she gobbles it up. And he's careful to make sure hot pavement does not hurt her bare paws. I put my hand down on the concrete or the asphalt and I feel what it feels like to my hand. And I know based on how much heat I can feel if it's okay for her to run or not. Walking around with shoes on, you don't appreciate just how warm the ground can be under your feet. Right here, we measured it as 92.7 in the shade and at a damp spot on open sand. We got 128.8. And over here on pavement that's not even solid black, we got 150.2. The American Medical Association found even moderate temperatures can bring on blistering pavement. The AMA found air temps of just 77 degrees can create pavement as hot as 125. 86 degrees in the air can lead to 135 degree pavement and just 87 degrees can bring pavement to 143. You can buy your dog booties, but only a few owners we met tried them and they got mixed results. He hates them and chews them up, so I can't use them on him, um, but they are a good idea. I have another dog at home and she uses them pretty frequently. In Reed Park, these owners were giving dogs lots of shade and they left a puddle of water to cool their paws. Last time we were here, she got burned on her foot. Just just from the sand? That was yeah. Her? Yeah. yeah, so I poured water down. Now, the temperatures for the pavement have hopped up and down quite a bit as we've taken readings again. We'll see what we get over when we put it in this direction. Now, uh, out in the main parking lot, we're getting at about uh, 122 or so. Now, Pima Animal Care is very aware of just how big a threat this is to the health of animals and dogs. They are going to be extra aware this weekend for the problems of people who forget and leave dogs in cars and leave dogs and other animals in a, in a situation where they don't have adequate shade, adequate water. We'll hear more from them new at six. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Thank you.